The most important skill involved in Venn diagram questions is making sure that you don't put the numbers in the wrong sections too early. So this question is about people who like sausages and eggs. And they're asked if they like sausages, eggs or both. Now 20 people like sausages. That means that in this circle over here there needs to be a total of 20. However, we are not going to put 20 in here or in here just yet, but in that circle in total there needs to be 20. Now, 14 people like both. We can add that information in straight away. The 14 who like both are in this middle section and we will add those in there. Now, it also says 10 people like neither. Now, because 10 people like neither, they're going to be the people that go in the section on the outside out here. So we can write it anywhere out outside. I'm going to write it down here in the corner. Now we've got two sections left to fill in. Now because 20 people like sausages, and if we go back to what we said a minute ago, that means that this circle has to add up to 20. Now because 14 people like both, 20 take away 14 gives me 6 for here. Now that takes care of the fact that 20 people like sausages. Now there's one missing number here and that's how many people like just eggs. Now we've got 14 people who like both, but we've also got a number on the right which needs to go in this section. Well because at the top of the question it said that there are a total of 50 people, what we can do is add up the numbers that we've got so far, 6, add 14, add 10, and those numbers add up to 30. So therefore, because there's 50 altogether, 50 take away 30 gives me 20 left over. And it's 20 that like eggs. I'll just double check that all those numbers work. 50 people altogether, yep. 20 of them like sausages, yep. 14 of them like both, yep. And 10 like neither, it's finished. Now there's one more question I want you to see before you try one on your own. So this question is slightly harder and you'll only need to be familiar with this if you're doing the higher GCSE exams. And that's because there's certain notation here that you need to be familiar with. Okay, so the first bit is the notation question A. Which numbers are in set A, N, B? Now this symbol here stands for AND and the N most people remember as AND. Question B, which are in set A, U, B? And that actually means OR. C, which are in set A dash, and that means not in A. And finally, we've got a question D, which is about probability. So this Venn diagram has already been filled in. So A, which numbers are in set A and B? That is the middle set here. The middle section, 23 and 25, are the numbers in both sections. Question B, which are in set A or B? Well, 23 and 25 are also in A or B, but all of the numbers in this circle are actually in A. All of the numbers are in this one are in B, so any number inside those two circles would be in A or B. So from the left-hand side, I've got 21, 31, 29. From the middle, we've got 23, and 25, and from the right hand side, B only, 34, 27, 22, and 26. Finally, which are in set A dash or not in A? Well, these ones over here are not in A, and these two down here are not in A. All of these are in A. So the ones that are not in A are these ones. So we've got 34, 22, 27, 26, 30 and 40. Okay. Right, question D. A number is picked at random. What is P brackets a n b brackets that just means the probability of picking a number from a and b well we know from the top that a and b up here there are two numbers so probability has always been written as fractions that's going to be two out of 
Now all together there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2 out of 11. 2 out of 11 are in A and B. OK, so here's a slightly different question for you to try. Part A, can you put the numbers into the Venn diagram? And part B is for students doing higher only. OK, so this question actually wants you to put the numbers into the Venn diagram initially. So in the S circle, it wants the square numbers. Well, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and the numbers only go up to 12, and there are no other square numbers in that selection. Now, the even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. OK, so let's put the numbers in now. Now, first of all, I'm going to start with the middle section, the numbers which are square and even. Well, that will be 4. OK, so the other square numbers I can write on the left. Notice how I'm just taking my time to cross them off individually to make sure I've not missed any. And the other even numbers can go on the right. That leaves me with just the non-square, non-even numbers. 3, 5, 7, and 11. OK, that's part A done. Part B, a number is picked at random. What is the probability of it being square and even? Well, there's only one number which is square and even, that was 4, so that's 1 out of 12. B, what's the probability of picking a number which is not in S? Well, be really careful here, the numbers which are in S are 1, 9 and 4. So the numbers that are not in S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... There are 9 which are not in S, so that will be 9 out of 12.